Welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to set up the Stripe payment gateway method. Um, and this is one of our most popular payment systems. Uh, I know a lot of people out there like Stripe. Uh, yeah, I know Easy Cart ourselves have integrated really heavily with Stripe. And so, if you're looking for a way to collect uh, credit card information uh, on your site. Stripe is our number one solution. Uh, EasyCart offers a lot more uh, functionality with Stripe than we do with our other payment gateways, particularly in the realm of subscriptions. And so let's take a look at the process. Um, and it, we make it very easy to connect. Uh, you can see here I just have a demo WordPress running with our demo products. And there's nothing special in this store right now set up. So let's take a look at uh, that process. Now let's go to shopping cart and let me show you how it looks and works. Uh, you can see we have PayPal already set up here. Uh, but pay, paying by credit card on your site, people are going to go through their billing information. Um, that's always going to be required. That lets us set up then on the next phase, you know, shipping and taxes and really get the user an accurate cart. Um, depending on your setup. Uh, you can see here we've got two different payment gateways. One is the bill later method uh, where it just places the order and it skips all payment gateways. Uh, that's great if you want to invoice users. Uh, we also have PayPal enabled and so we're giving them a choice and this allows the uh, famous PayPal pop-up window here and users can simply check out and pay with PayPal. Uh, what we want to do is use Stripe to connect and add a third one here, which is credit card. And so let's jump over to our uh, admin area and we're going to go to settings. And we're going to go to the financial settings payment section. And there's a couple ways you could do this. Um, remember, you could go through the wizard and have already set this up. And if you did walk through the wizard, it's going to already be checked over here that you're connected. Um, because Stripe is very easy to turn on. Uh, so is PayPal and so is Square. Um, PayPal can run alongside uh, Stripe because PayPal opens up its own window. Uh, if you go with a live gateway, you can either choose Stripe or you have to go with Square. You can't run two credit card companies at the same time. Uh, in our professional and premium, we also have 30 other different payment gateways. And so they all do the same thing. Uh, and realize that users, it's transparent. They don't know who your payment gateway is. It just gives them credit card information to enter, just like a regular e-commerce site. So it's very transparent to the users. Uh, this is really only relevant for you, the owner. Uh, but here we're going to set up Stripe. and. Uh, you can see I already have these two enabled and I'm just going to come over here and you can enable live mode or sandbox mode. Now I recommend as a uh, typical user just go ahead and enable live mode. The same process holds true for the sandbox. So um, if you you want to do some testing you certainly can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enable sandbox because we have a developer system. Now when you click on that all it's going to do is take you right out to Stripe and it's going to ask you to log in and you're going to log into your Stripe account. Now if you don't have a Stripe account be sure to go there and log in. And I'm already logged in. Uh, I've got a several accounts because we use them for testing but I'm going to go ahead and just click my EasyCart test account and I'm going to connect and it wants me to log in here so I'm going to go ahead and just log in. must have not been fully logged in and once you're connected that's all it takes you're now connected to Stripe and if you do this through live mode the same exact process holds true you simply log in to Stripe select which account on Stripe you want to be connected to and you're done it's that easy and uh, now and I'll go through a couple other options here, but I'm going to show you just what it looks like on the other side. So if I refresh my payment panel, you can see now I have several choices, and one of them is pay by credit card. 
and you can see I can come in here and just enter a credit card I can type in you know a test card uh, for example this test card if you connect to with stripe and sandbox you can always use the same card too. just 4242 any expiration date and any CVV number so that's all it takes and now users can enter that it's going to be secure uh, you'll want to make sure you have an SSL on your website so that you're running up here HTTPS and it's secure. Uh, but that's uh, it's not a hard uh, connection at all to make. Um, now let's take a look at some options we have. Um, with our free edition, it's important that you know that our PayPal, Stripe, and Square all have 2% easy cart fees um, in the free one the bill later method does not have any uh, payment gateway fees so you're free to use that in the free edition all you want but if you do connect to one of these three methods uh, you do have to pay extra two percent easy cart fees and your two point nine percent with each of these providers so that's about five percent fees if you jump up to our professional or premium edition uh, those fees with easy cart are gone so all you pay is the 2.9 percent with PayPal, Stripe, or Square um, along with the fact that you open up in the Pro and Premium a whole bunch of other gateways as well as a ton of other features I won't get into that here so uh, there's a key difference make sure you're aware of that um, when you do enable these gateways now let's take a look at a few of the options one of them with Stripe is the fact that you can enable Apple Pay, Google Pay, or Microsoft Pay and I have it enabled here I can turn it off if I want but if I have this turned on let me jump back over here you get this extra fourth option up here and that is pay using your device and you can click on that and it's going to allow you to simply pay with you know any account if you have Google Pay set up if you are on Apple device Apple device users will see Apple Pay right here. Now there's another benefit to using these mobile payments and that's what these are. These are called mobile wallet payments and you can see it back here um, this section. If I go to just my shopping cart the idea behind this is to allow quicker checkout. So here we have PayPal Express we have our checkout through EasyCart and then you can see right here we have uh, Google Pay and it simply pops open and lets people enter their checkout information if they have it set up if they don't have let's say you're not an Apple like I'm not on Apple in this situation I don't see the Apple Pay button so it has to be on the device it has to be uh, set up it's very specific but it's a neat feature that Stripe offers um, and again this is uh, PayPal and this is just the regular checkout so it's kind of squished in between there and it's allowing people to by basically bypass your entire shipping or your entire checkout process so if you want that enabled you feel free to do that um, there's some specific stuff you'll want to do over in our documentation I'll get to that in a second uh, this next section here says if you haven't hooked up a webhook you need to do that now Stripe offers what's called a webhook and it talks back to your system uh, maybe somebody places an order and they pay by credit card and they check out and they move on shut down their browser they leave sometimes that payment um, might send back information to your easy cart and so we need to set up that URL they call it a webhook for it to talk back to and so we have some information here you can click here and get that um, and you can copy your webhook here uh, but for the directions click here or go to our documentation panel if you haven't been to our documentation you can go to online docs this is our administrative guide and we have every panel documented and if you go all the way through the settings the payments and down into stripe you will be presented with this page and there's a lot of good information here to continue setting up Stripe um, and we walk through what we just walked through here basically setting it up clicking and logging in you know selecting your account it's all very basic to this point um, 
but here is a section on adding your webhook and you will want to go through here and finish this step and we show you here on Stripe how to do that they have a specific login section and a menu just for webhooks um, and you'll create the webhook and you're going to allow these permissions and this is going to let you know subscriptions talk back to your system refunds uh, there's a lot of situations where Stripe needs to communicate back to you and so that's an important step right there uh, especially if you start to see orders that you know hey they're not changing from pending status to confirmed and usually it's the fact that you never have the the uh, the webhook set up okay uh, the other big scenario is when you have subscriptions you know a month later the user's gone stripe needs to talk back to your easy cart to place an order for that subscription and so without a webhook uh, it will not work uh, but we got other things in here such as enabling apple pay um, that's another great situation where uh, if you want to turn on Apple Pay, um, Google Pay works just by enabling it, but if you want to enable Apple Pay, uh, they have special verification you have to do, and so make sure you follow this section on how to enable Apple Pay with Stripe. Um, you have to go to Stripe, you have to log in, you have to add your domain, and you have to upload a file um, to your website and then it has to verify that you are who you think you are and then stripe will show that button so the, the apple pay button will not work unless you come out here and set this up and again we have this documentation um, out on our website go to our docs go to our administrative guide and you will find that uh, under our settings our financial settings payments and stripe and you know again we have buttons here to quick link them um, if you're looking how to uh, enable Apple Pay for example it'll jump you down there so couple steps couple extra things you have to do uh, with Stripe although connecting is very easy uh, you, we really recommend you get that webhook set up and uh, if you want to enable Apple Pay and Google Pay there's an extra process there as well so um, <clears throat> again Stripe is our most popular payment gateway because it does so much. Um, it offers subscriptions the way we need it. It also offers us uh, mobile payment as well as just a really nice um, easy to check out uh, payment system uh, that a lot of people like to use for credit cards. Uh, we get asked a lot, is it secure uh, to use credit cards on your site and it absolutely is. Um, this window is actually securely loaded through Stripe. We never store credit card numbers on your website. So if somebody even stole your entire website, um, they wouldn't have credit card numbers. Okay, They would have order information like a user's name and address, but they would never get the user's um, actual card numbers. Uh, Stripe, as well as Square, all of our payment gateway, they process instantly and that information is destroyed immediately using their um, best methods. Uh, so this is all loaded in here via um, Stripe's system. So that's Stripe. A little bit longer video than I wanted, but uh, there's a lot to explain there. Um, it is uh, popular. Again, if you want to know how to do PayPal, we have another video for that. And if you're curious what bill later is, this payment method, we have that as well. Um, typically people will turn that off because they want to just accept money and so you can run PayPal and Stripe that's what I recommend um, but very easy to connect to so more videos on those topics you can check them out uh, hopefully this was enough to cover you and get you started if you have any other questions feel free to drop us a ticket we'll see you on the other videos thank you